Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting-edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Oh, Ooh. that's the UP, folks. They're dealing with snow and wind this afternoon, courtesy of our friends at Michigan Tech. We appreciate the, the shot there where uh, it looks like the ground's actually warm enough up there where it's hitting, not really sticking yet, unless they're really good at plowing even in the springtime. <laughs> I'm just cold looking at that, though. <laughs> they have to be used to the spring snowstorms, you know, up there because they, they come every year. They know what sprinters all about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, the spring of false deception. But spotty showers today here closer to home. We're in that lull right now, so cloudy skies for the most part. But we'll have some scattered showers that will continue uh, to kind of be in and out of our area throughout your Thursday and Friday. Um, and even maybe a few flakes that will mix in at times as temperatures fall kind of later in the day in the early morning hours. And we'll walk through the timeline in just a moment. A little breezy out there, so kind of blustery conditions. And then winds die down tomorrow, but they will be picking back up for opening day. So if you do have plans to head to Comerica Park, try to find your favorite tiger's beanie as opposed to ball cap. And maybe a tiger scarf if you have one. You want to make sure that you dress appropriately for cooler temperatures. Clouds and radar showing that we do have a ton of snow that's been churning on the northwestern part of this low. So from the UP, portions of Canada now down into that northern, at least third of Illinois. And then a ton of moisture still off to the east. That's starting to change over to snow, pushing into the New England states, and we've even had a couple severe thunderstorm warnings pop along the mid-Atlantic states. You see this one right here in that western portion of Virginia. As we look at the snow potential, now we're starting to see these numbers go down a little bit because we've already picked up so much snow. But overall, Marquette could end up with more than two feet of snow by the time we're at the end of your Thursday. But then the bulk of this snow shifts off to the New England state. So we're at least dodging that winter-like storm. Right now, Detroit cloudy skies, 46 in the city, 41 in Howell, 43 in Lapeer, and 45 in Monroe, with southwesterly winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And they will gust upward of that throughout the afternoon and evening, so it'll feel a few degrees cooler. But we kind of hover in the mid 40s for the next several hours, so we're not going to see a big swing in temperatures. And after three is when we have the best chance of some of those showers to develop across the area. We'll first talk wind gusts because we do have those gusts upward of 20 miles per hour now and upwards of 30 miles per hour to the west. They start to die down tonight, tomorrow morning calmer by 10 a.m. But then as we head into Thursday evening, winds will pick up, but notice they come out of the north. So that will put a bite in the air Thursday night going into Friday morning. Just awfully chilly for those tailgating outside of Comerica Park, especially when you're factoring in wind gusts that will be closer to 30 miles per hour. So tonight, 36 for the overnight low. Chance for a couple of those showers, especially to our south by the state line. And then 47 tomorrow. Let's break down what we have here precipitation-wise. 4 p.m., scattered but widespread showers, rain showers, that is. Now, after sunset tonight around 9, you could see some wet snowflakes mixing in with any remnant moisture, especially down towards Monroe as that brushes past before sunrise. Then we have just a few spotty sprinkles or a little few snowflakes on Thursday, nothing widespread. But Friday, for the first half of the day, getting into the lunch hour, I think we could get a few lake effect snow bands, some flurries coming from the north to south. And so that will make for a pretty chilly first day, opening day over at Comerica Park. So 37 degrees at 10 a.m., 40s throughout the game time. Time, but we will feel like the 30s. Quick look at the solar eclipse forecast. Right now, a lot of cloud cover going into Monday with more of that clearing up to the northeast. So if you're making travel plans, just take note of that. Otherwise, clear skies this weekend in 50s. And then check out Tuesday next week, you guys. Close to 70. Oh. Hmm. All right.